Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and we are finally going to start this project. So if you remember, I got these at the antique market and there was a big debate whether or not they are actually old or someone's just made them with old things. I don't know, probably um, newer than older. Everything is um, hand stitched and they have, for those of you who are new, they have um, original documents as pages and lots of lace and original Victorian um, Victorian pieces of um, scrapbooking. So this is a document, document 1789. So I actually got three of these and I love them. Um, it's a little one. And, and oh, I'll show you that in a second and remind you because most of you have watched that. Um, everything is hand stitched. No machine stitching, and these are glued, but this is all hand stitched. So, um, just beautiful laces and bits of ephemera, all kinds of gorgeous things in them. So, I thought um, we might go ahead and make one. Uh, I'll just quickly, this one I think has hair in it, which kind of grossed me, grossed me out. There's a lovely communion card, old note, letters, feathers. I don't have feathers. Um, charms so I had put together some kits because I did um, come across some some um, documents lots of documents now just a minute this is the one that I made with you guys a while ago I don't know when probably at the beginning of the pandemic or before that even and I had made all these bits and pieces, but we had used 1700s book pages and 1800s book pages because I didn't have enough documents. Or, and we used um, scanned, if in, um, I have some scrapbooking pages. Um, I'm going to put together a kit because I, ha I did purchase a lot of original um, Victorian um, ephemera. So I have scanned some and I will make a, a kit to go along with it for further embellishing or to use for other projects. But I just wanted to show so oh, it's quite fun, isn't it? That's the one that I actually ended up making. And that was just like a um, from a notebook, probably from the 1800s or 1900s. And then old pieces of rag paper as well to make tags and things. So I must remember that. Uh, yeah, so... Um, anyway, I put together new kits for that. I had done a kit for that one. And then I came across the, um, I'll put those aside for reference. I came across uh, all of these documents. So I had enough to put some kits. Now I do have some more kits available. Uh, I haven't put them in my shop. Maybe I'll put them in. There's four finished today. Um, I'll put those in my shop. And then um, I have a couple of others that I need to, um, finish up something for them now this is not the complete kit this is one I put aside for me so that I could work with you guys but I'm missing a whole I'm missing all of the I put like eight original um, Victorian um, scrapbooking figures in in all different sizes I need to go downstairs and find where mine are I put some charms in um, some other a few other things in there there's a hand, little hand stitch pouch just a very quick one um, to play with as well so I need to go and gather all my ones up but I thought we could at least get started um, I'm not really doing this video to show the kit because as I said I had put the kits in and some very quick ladies had um, snapped them up so um, there's some of those silk fabrics in there this lovely fabric that I had so um, yeah just a var variety of things to be able and beautiful laces I really I really did put in, um, I had been collecting the laces for quite a while and I did put in some of my favourite laces in there too. I think I put myself aside two kits so I can make two. Um, and then there's, oh, they've all got our beautiful original Holy Communion card. Um, some of them are really old. Some of them are early, this is 1905, this one. Some of them are early 1900s, maybe mid. And then these are Florentine um, or Italian papers, I should say. They are, they're more expensive. They're the lithographed ones. Um, but I put some of those, I was able to find some really nice ones when I went to Ven Venice. And so I chopped them up and I put those in to play with as well, considering um, 
we're in Italy. And then um, these beautiful pages, they have the, the kits had these, some 1700s, 1800s rag paper, a variety of pages. And I put also a, a couple of the plain rag papers in as well. It's still got a thread on it. Just a minute. I'm just going to take that off because that'll annoy me. And then the document. I mean, the documents, they were special. This one's 1844. And these are to really to create the pages with. 1857. I don't know I, what it is in mine. I just put them in randomly. Shoot up. 1870. Um, 1877. 1824. Um 1838 that one just I was really lucky and I got all these documents actually from my dealer man he got me he got them for me so and there are a lot um, so I was able to share some of them and I'm going to be ruthless these are going to be pages because you know what I bought documents I showed you that amazing one well that one's really beautiful I could never pull that one apart 1838 that one I tried to put all different fonts in each one um, but, um, and what did I want to say? Um, these sorts of documents, like I'm never going to read them. They're very hard to read actually. And, you know, they're just going to be there collecting dust. Look at that 1847. Um, I put a lot in, I think I put, um, 11 pieces in or maybe 11, maybe 10 or 11 pieces. And then a small one. I can't remember. 1829 those of you who have received them will know what's in in the kit i don't know if some of you've just got sick of waiting for me <laughs> poor bev 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 this is for you because bev has asked me when was i going to get cracking and and i really just haven't been able to get get my head going i've just been in, in a bit of a funk really with my creativity so you know i've just been doing simple things to try and get myself someone's done some calculating on the back of that one but really really oh and they've all got a um ledger paper music paper an art page and then oh this these i put in these are old file folders from the 90, early 1900s i put these in to to use um to create the covers because these covers are just made with this one's made with document but this one i saw is made with this just this bodgy kind of gross cardstock in there and it's all stitched so I don't know what type I'm going to do now I'm kind of like these tall see this one the one that I made with you guys um, maybe I'll try and find the video and I'll link the first video um, it'll be in my how to make a journal um, folder uh, playlist I should say I just folded it in half and that was my size but I'd like to do a long a tall narrow one I think or will I do it that size I don't know let's just start folding this now this is all chewed up there so probably I'm just going to fold it and see I'm going to get rid of, rid of my chewed up edge I might even just actually fold that in and glue it down take that bit off just so it's a bit stronger I think this is going to be my size here I'm going to glue that down guys so how is everyone today? I've been procrastinating all day. Um, oh, I have prepared. I'm down to my my last bundles of. Uh, I've been preparing them. They take me a bit of time, you know, just to coordinate, and then I've got to find all my bits and pieces to go on them. The the silk vintage fabrics. Now I've got an amount of bundles left, but I haven't put them all in my shop yet. I have photographed some today. That's what I was doing while I was procrastinating about what am I going to video. Um, so we'll call this part one. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea just to fold that. I'm liking the height of it, I think. So let's see here. And what was I saying? I might fold that right. I'm not, I'm not cutting it off. Now I'm wondering, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm down to my last um, amount. I haven't put them in my shop yet. You'll just see them going in slowly over the over the over these next few days and the weekend. I've got a few more books to put in, so just keep your eyes out for those. There's some really nice ones. Um, and yeah, I won't be able to get any more of that fabric. He wasn't there the last time, um, the gentleman. So um, I'm... I, um, hmm. 
I don't know if I'll be able to get those fabrics anymore, but I'm thinking, I was looking in here, look at this. I'm going to have to put this, I'm going to go go downstairs and get a, like a little box to put these in. But I was thinking, which one did I see? This one, I think, unless I put it on my cover, but I'm thinking I might embroider some of it. Would, would we like to see that? Would we like to embroider a little bit of that? Could be quite nice on my cover. Oh, and mum, this is for you as well. Mum keeps asking me along with Bev, mum and Bev, you're in the same boat. Um, so mum has been asking me too, when are you going to do it? So mum, pay attention because mum's never made a journal before, but she, when, when I told her I was making these kits, she fancied one. So I sent her one. Now that has arrived. That's in her first box, but her other box um, with her, um, I might put that in there. Now this trim, a couple of you ladies will have had it in your, um, it's very old 1700s, could even be earlier. The lady, it's my lady in Florence that brought the stuff from her home for me because she said she had it in the box for 10 years and she wasn't doing anything with them. So she was happy to sell them to me. Um, but these, this is metal. It's very hard to find. And I thought I would, um, I did have a little bit left. So I did put it in some of these packs, a few of them. Um, I'm going to put it on like this one, I think. That's all I know. Anyway, let's just um, faff about a little bit because we don't need all these bits. Maybe I'll look at the papers. Let's have a look at the papers and see. So, you know, some of these documents are going to be sacrificed in the sense that they, um, they are going to be folded in half. Well, they were, when I got them, they were folded in half. They're going to be folded like that. And where they're going to be sacrificed is here because they're too long so I might have to take the bottom off this is the dilemma or you can glue the bottom up but what's the point in that then you cover all of that you see I don't want to this one I might have to put in the center and that can be a fold down I don't know you see this is going to be hard guys it's not going to be easy this one's more let's take the ones that are more similar all the way that one's very special because that's got the calculation so let's take this one I'm, I'm just going to rip it I am I'm going to do it I'm going to rip it so I'm just I like this is how I measure I'm just folding them in half and then I fold it up like so. Mum's going to be so excited about this, aren't you, Mum? Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my ruler and rip it. If you have a metal ruler, guys, they're really great for ripping. Um, I could have used my jagged edge ruler, but I don't really need to. So this is really... See how they were already folded? See, what happens is they, they're folded like this and they... All of the relevant documents I've found, I'll have to get one downstairs. I've got more. Um, they're all folded and then they have like a cover folded on top of them. Um, and then, um, yeah, they're all folded. Now I'm thinking, I think there's enough here to make two. I'm thinking I'm only going to put six pages in. So... Yeah, I'm going to do six pages. Now, this one is quite, um, some of them were quite damaged. So this one I might put aside with that one. Um, and I think I'll fold that one. Looks even embossed. I get excited about these silly things. So I just fold them in half. So let's do, I think I'll do six pages. Because the last one I put in so many pages, it was just too much. So I'll do six written pages. Let's find one. Oh, look at that. See, it's just so hard. I don't know. That's beautiful. So choose all different fonts. I'm going to put these ones aside and they will go in another one. Well, this is a good one to use. This one's got a good height. But it, no, that one's more fragile. I would fold that in a pocket. That's more fragile. Oh, this is a double document. So this one I'm going to tear if I can. Oh, I can't tear it like that. Don't. It's rag paper. You can't tear it like that. I'm going to tear it like this. So if you don't have these, right, just say you don't, you want to make this journal because it is going to be lovely whether or not you've got the materials or not. Um, um, so, um, let me, I've just lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm going to fold that one like that. Um, what I wanted to say is whether or not you have, you might have some of my book page packs. They do have an amount of um, rag paper 
these rag paper pages in them. They do. They do have an amount of them. You could do them with that like we did with the previous one. Uh, or you could print up antique letters and then grunge them up yourself and and have the, use those. Uh, I'm just debating whether I might like... I'm going to add in a couple of uh, these. This little one... Oh, this, look, this is an unread one, I think. You all got some of these. Look. Look at that. I'll just tear that off. I could put that in. I'm going to put that in as a page and put that aside. I might put, tuck that in a pocket. Or maybe I'll stick with the plan and do these big ones. How many is here? Is that one? It's very thick. Oh, gosh, it's thick. Yep, that's one. That's so thick. It's almost like a cardstock. I could put that in and then I could fold in my edges. So we'll have a look at that. And then these, you know, these things I just thought... Um, isn't that beautiful? That that I'm going to rip. That's going to be ripped. That's going to be folded in a pocket. Um, put that aside. That's going to go in a pocket. Um, do we want a music paper? I might, this is very old. I've never had music paper from the 1800s. This is an 1800s music paper. I might put that in. It says she as she rips it. And then I have this. Um, I'm not sure about that. And that I'm going to put in a pocket. Okay, so here we go. We're not going to have an exaggeration of pages because we, don't forget, we're going to be stitching on the lace. I'm hand stitching. I'm not using my machine. That's not what it's about. I am. I am hand stitching. So I'm just going to put them. Oh, I'm going to do one at a time. Otherwise, I'll make a mess. So that one, where's my ruler? Guys, where did it go? In the papers yes so as i was saying if you don't have these you can very easily make something very lovely with printables just grunge them up yourselves put, you know print them on tea dyed paper that's what i recommend at tea dyed paper and some people it can be a little bit expensive like it's very expensive here linen paper Linen paper is also a good option. See, those bits can be used. You don't. I'm not fretting too much about ripping it. Um, linen paper can give you a nice texture too. Maybe I wonder what it would be like if you tea dyed linen paper. Um, oh, wrong place. That way. And then this one. I think I'll keep the date on that one down there. Although it might be covered up by lace anyway. What's it like up there? This one is pretty much up and down sort of similar so I think I would rip the top here of course use your decal edge ruler if you prefer don't have to do what I do let me see which do I prefer here I like the top of that one I think so we'll tear tear this off I could decide to add more pages it's not really it's not really um, in my opinion for me I'm not making it really as a journal what did I do in the other one? Let's have a look quickly before we just make any further decisions. Um, oh, there's my... Oh, that was the folded up one. Um, this one... See, look how many... Pa there were quite a lot of pages. It did become quite bulky also because... Um, see, that really the writing pages, the writing bits were the things that I inserted in sort of thing. Um that's what I did with the music paper. Yeah, it was really more of just something fun to play with. Beautiful old book page. Just see, look at that. It's really, really a fun little project. It's just to, really to store your favourite bits and pieces. I mean, a nice place to put these wonderful letters um, that nobody reads anymore, these documents. They're not letters. They're quite often official documents. So I don't think I'm going to put those in order yet. I've got a bit of a bloody blah today. Um, I'm not going to put them in order yet until I've sort of worked on my cover a bit, and I'm not quite sure here what I want to do with my cover. I'm going to keep those because I might they might get like little something on them and put in a pocket. Um, that's that beautiful thing. I think every single one of the kits had this in, of these kits, but not the other packs that I've been doing okay so we've got lots to play with so I mean even this even this could go on the cover if I wanted to do something like this one um, this, I don't know how old this is I, think, I got this from the lady in Florence as well 
it doesn't go right over and then they've just put like you see they just put things in look, look at the wonky stitching and the papers even cut anyway um, that's not exciting me so much although then I put in all these lovely things I don't want to make it I like I love lace as you know but I don't like to be um, over like excessively frou-frou with my lace if you know like I'm careful how I put my lace because I don't want to I'm not a really like overly lacy lace person see that's a bit there's not enough pattern on that for me so that's not going to do it um so let's see what else I wanted to make this into a pocket I think this one there's more of that lace and then this one I think this would be lovely but I would like to embroider it so that could be I'm really liking that on here let's see to do something really different to the other one as well put that down the bottom and wrap it round what and then that one just had lace on the back um, I do want to stick to with um, what I put in the kit. Like I don't want to, you know, veer off and go somewhere else. You know, pulling out other fabric. I could pull out a bit of hemp. Um, if you didn't have hemp, you could use lace. Uh, not lace. What am I? I'm touching my lace and saying lace linen. I'm saying I am liking that. I really am liking that. Uh, so I could have that. I need to iron it. I could have that. Or do I want to wrap it around? I wrap it around let's just have a look if I were to wrap it around it would make it nice and strong put that there and then I would wrap this one around as well I can't and like every and everyone's kit will be slightly different what's in it you know like the size so you might not have this exact piece you might have to wing it and find something else in the kit that you can use so that could go I do like that and then you, I don't know um, I don't see lots of these pieces I thought would be really nice stitched down so that one so I want to be careful with what I use of my laces as well oh I like that Put something like that maybe not even have it so regular um, or I could put, I love these trims. I need to see if I can find, oh, I love that. I might put the trim on the front. Just chuck it, just chuck it away, why don't you, Rachel? Um, so I really want to embroider that. Do something on it. Anyway, we'll plan it, we'll plan it. And then, and then I don't think I'll embroider today because I've got to switch. My brain needs to switch, do a switchy switch. Now I'm just deciding I think I could have my well I'm not going to do if I do do two I'm not going to do two um, with fabric although no I'm going to find a lace I think for there I don't think I have a lace for there what are these these are the bigger ones are at the bottom oh here you go that's got the sample thing on it I don't think I like the yellow showing through that like that do I no I don't think I'll do that Am I driving you mad? My goal is to drive everybody mad. No, I'm only joking. Okay, no. Okay, I'm not going to have a lace on the back. What did I do on the back of that one? I did do a lace on that. Oh, what about some printed script? I could do that. Some printed script. I did say I was going to stay in my... in my. Um, oh, you know what else you could do? You know what else you could do? Not this one. But you could... I might put real document on the back. I think I'm going to glue some document on the back of that. So which one? Which one will I... Oh, I could do that one. I could do the music paper. Do the music paper and a little bit of document. Why don't we do a little bit of a collage on there? How about that? Let's see what happens. I, as I said, I'm not going to do any... Um, I haven't decided about this, whether to have it as a flippy or I think I'll glue it down. Let's just decide and glue that down because we're going to have, yes, I'm going to glue it down. I'm just thinking, my brain is ticking over. Oh, let me see what time it is. I have to pick up Lulu earlier today because the 
Well, I think her her um, her sports teacher has you know what, because she hasn't been to school for weeks. So that's why I have to pick her up earlier today. They've got one hour of a substitute teacher, and then and then they're getting out an hour earlier. Okay, so that's that. So that's nice and strong, and it's nice to use up these boring old um, vintage file folders. I haven't folded it exactly, that's okay. I will have the back slightly bigger than the front. My care factor is zero, and I think I like this, like this. I might even wrap it around a little bit. Yeah, so what I need to do, I think, what I'll do is I'll, oh, look, that side's much nicer. Oh, guys, remember to check, Juju. Remember to check which side do you like best. I like this side the best. So I'm going to glue that on there. I'm thinking to myself, I think I'm going to spread my vinyl glue over there because I think that'll be easier. All I use, I don't want to use my quick drying glue. Oh, no. Oh, you silly goose. That's the front. That is the front. Well, the front has now become the back. This is how I deal with my issues. I put the glue on the wrong side. So this is now my back. That's okay. I can extend it out with a bit of something. See how boo-boos happen? You just have to go with it. If you make a boo-boo, just, well, you just have to adapt to your boo-boo. It's called boo-boo adaptation. Right grab this I need to grab a piece of paper I don't want to dirty my mat I like my mat and you know how how messy I become and then it just builds up and becomes more and more and more now the reason why I'm doing this is just so I don't get too many air pockets um, too many air pockets under the paper hopefully that's the goal this is just those silicon silicon <laughs> silicone um, silicone um, mask applying brushy things and they're very good for spreading glue because as you know I never wash my brushes I forget because I don't love those brushes they're just the old cheapo ones you know this hard bristle ones and um, and I forget to wash them you know and then, even though they're El Cheapo, forgetting to wash them just becomes a big expense. Because you have to keep on buying them. Now, this was the side. Let's double check after that, boo-boo. So, I wanted to see the that. See the that. I need to put... I'm just going to glue that down, but I need to put some glue under here because I'm a ding-dong. But here we can just put this glue because I'm going to have my fabric there so as long as it's glued down I'm going to have my fabric there and then I'm just deciding I need to glue that bit down I think I'll trim the top and bottom off because I will stitch around it by hand and I think I'll fold that over so that bit's going to be super strong just remove that out of the way just going to fold this this like this so I'm not all sticky. So I've used that part of the, the big music paper I've used to cover the back side of my cover. And that's not to say it's not going to have something else added. We don't know. So if you have, I don't know, I can't remember what is in each pack. But if you have a nice piece of that silk fabric or if you bought one of the other packs... Um, because I've I put periodically put them in my shop when you know as I stocked up on that. Now as I said, as I said the gentleman, not there. Um, well, if you've got another piece, by all means, prepare it and use that if you're going to go down that road. So that's drying. I'm not going to fold it until it's sort of dry, a bit drier. Um, Actually, I can probably recrease it now, and so it's more even. And then what's going to go on here is this. 
but I want to embroider it. So I think we'll do that in my next video. I love that. So that's going to go there. This is going to go here and I might even, I'll have it fold over the edge, but I might even have that just come around to the back. And then I was going to put the trim to just to reiterate, I'm going to put the trim and oh, I could have had that trim, but that can go inside. Um, and I'm just wondering if I want to put something here. I'm thinking this is something lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Some of you will have gotten some of that in the page. I don't know. Um, I can't sometimes make these decisions on the fly like that. So let's just flip it over. So that's that. That's the exterior and then the interior. Let's have a look at that. That will be glued in there. So, oh, something's annoying me. I think I'm going to glue. We do have other old documents and old book pages that aren't necessarily like this beautiful old book page. This could glue inside right across. I think I will glue that. I'm going to have this fluffy rough edge on the exterior. I want that. And I am going to stitch around it. And I might even stitch around it with a floss rather than they just use like a regular cotton sort of thread that you can't see. Um, I'm going to put that there. And then we might have, isn't that beautiful? Some sort of piece at the back. So is that food for thought to get started, to get cracking? We might put a pocket in the front. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we've started. I think it's going to be lovely. So I could have that. I, I think, yes, I think I like that more. So in my next video, we're going to embroider this. Not all of it, just some of it. I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. And as I said, if you've got other pieces of that because you bought those and um, um, you might want to use that, even this one, if you've got a bigger piece of this one, this would be beautiful. I'm going to embroider that flower as well. It's um, a bit more of a silky sort of like, this is silk, um, but it's woven. And then I don't know if you saw all the silk threads are at the back, so it doesn't feel like silk. This is more like a rayon or silky. It's a vintage fabric. I bought it at the antique market, this antique market that's on um, every twice a year. Um, and there was a lady that had, and I just thought it was really pretty, um, buttery sort of yellow. Uh, this was one I had from the first round when I first did this one. So I'll just show you again this cover. If you want to do that, that had a piece of Sanderson fabric underneath um, some of this sort of netting sort of um, stuff and then some laces and that trim. I think my mum or my aunt gave me that. Um, and then a, a lovely book cover that I don't have those ones anymore and then a big piece of netting lace on the back and a flower. Um, and then inside I made a pocket with this fabric um, and I covered it with document as well. So I'm just showing you that as a reference in case you'd like to go down that road. And then the back had document again and pocket. We might do something like that again. That's quite useful because I do want to slip things in that um, can be, you know, sort of used. Okay, so that is my video today, making a start on the these, um, I won't say antique, well they are made with antique stuff, but I don't know if they're antique manufacturer, if you know what I mean, like I don't know if they're antique made or not, I just don't know. Um, most opinions were that it, they are not, that someone has put them together with um old things and I thought well lucky ducks having all those things and now I've got enough of those things to do that too so um, we are going to do it all right so thank you so much for watching um, you can play along too as I said if you don't have the these things you just have to print them out um, and use what you have and, and stick them in the tea and the coffee and, and rough them up a little bit and then you'll be able to get the look Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Okay guys, so I decided to come back. I couldn't wait till another day. And sorry, I'm just moving in closer so I don't fall off my chair. Okay, so I have started, 
um, embroidering. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it will come together. I've used this color for the highlights, um, and then I've used this DMC 3778, not that it matters, for the mid-tone. I haven't done it there yet. I thought I'd finish one first. And then this DMC 3831 for the darker part of these buds or berries or whatever and I'm just doing um, it's kind of like a satin stitch but it's it's a bit more of a short and long stitch I haven't done anything there in that light a bit because um, I'm wondering I'm going to wait till the end I might put some spriggy bits coming out or um, beads I'm just debating see this is what I mean like when I I don't have a 100% plan I just um, as I go figure it out so that's a long longer stitch and then a little shorter stitch so they're very uneven stitches but that's how you get that sort of painterly sort of look now the Sun is coming around so it might have to be a short addition to the previous part of the video but I'm hoping it'll turn out well so we'll work on this um, a bit more with you guys. And you might have a, you, you'll obviously have a different part, part of the fabric. You might have part with the flower, the, like the flower flower bits. And so I start off by picking up the, um, or pick up the dark bits or you pick up the highlight um, and then just take it from there. Just decide what you want to pick up. Now I'm going to do little short stitches around here. I sure need one in there as well. No, I need one there and then one here. Just a little one. I'll just tuck it in there. Yeah, that's better. And then little ones across here. I think it's going to be lovely. So now, I, I mean, it will take a while to do this, but it is a nice um, piece nice size piece to work on so you might have like a, a brocadey sort of little piece of brocadey upholstery I mean this is what this is it's, um, it's the silk one but um, they're not this is not antique this is like from the 80s or something it's not antique but it is, it is a lovely old style design. And when I, when I bought these um, fabrics from the gentleman at the antique market, uh, I did immediately think, even though the flowers are lovely on them, the fabrics, I felt like, um, especially in the in when I in the packs that I sold of these, um, not the general packs, but the packs with the bigger pieces, um, I felt like there's you know th there's more of the flowers on there. Like just to embroider one or something um, would be really spectacular on as a journal cover, but not like not the whole piece of fabric. I mean just one flower, sort of thing. And then some little stitches down here. I'm just using a regular embroidery needle. I think it's a number eight or nine. I think I bought number nines. So I can't remember. Now I'm not going to embroider all of it. Like, you know, the whole thing, although it would be nice. I'm I, as I'm sitting here stitching, I'm, pre I'm umming and ahhing whether or not to embroider some of the, the leaves. I might get out my Appleton wool and try that. I 
And it really is for the fun of it. Okay, so I've done one. So that's how I'm going to approach those. I won't do all of those on camera. Just to show you a little bit. I'm not sure about the leaves yet. We might do that another day. I was looking at this piece here. And I said I was going to use this piece. And it's wonky. I think that might be the right side. Which is the right? Yes, that is the right side. I almost like the other side more. That would be typical of me. Um... I do almost like that. No, I know. I'll go with that. What I was thinking was I might grab a navy blue. I need a navy blue that I've got plenty of. Is that too dark? That one's too dark. Uh, might not. I'm getting low. That one That was the one I just pulled out. So I would use this one, but I don't have enough left of that one. I need to buy, get stock up on my... Um, DMC threads, don't I? Uh, so in that case, oh, I could use that. No, that's too dark. light. Just a minute. I'm going to hop over here to my box of uh, pearl cottons, these ones, because I know I don't have them in my one in the box in front of me, in the pearls, but I do have, I put them all in here, my, my um, like my Alsace one, but it's not Alsace. I'm going to use that one. That's the one I'm going to use. I just put them in a box so they don't. I had them flying around. I had them in a look how they go. I had them in a um in a what's it called a just a pouch and they get really messy. But I was wondering if I might like to do some rows across there in running stitch on the dark green. Let's just have a look. I'm not going to turn any edges. I'm not worried about that. Oh, actually, they need to join together too. Or will I not join them together? Let's just have a look here. Let's just fold this. It's dry now. Okay, that's the back. That's the front. So this is going to go on here. like so and that is going to go there it's going to fold around maybe I'll have that bit fold around like that okay so what I might do mm -hmm, no I think I'll just do I'm just going to pin it And start doing actually I might just get it's okay I'll just get this thread here and just do a little whippy stitch just to hold it together well, that's got a tiny eye can we thread that one yes just before can you see the Sun it's coming it's on its way keeping me warm I'm just going to overcast stitch here you'll be able to see it but I'm going to put the trim across there so it doesn't really matter does it this is what I do sometimes I don't even have a base I just join them together like that but just make sure you don't um, sort of bunch it up the way you're holding it Move that out of the way. Shall I love it? Just chuck it over there. Just wanted to whiz along and get that attached for you. Hopefully, oh, look at that. I stabbed myself. Hopefully you don't have too much um, shadows because the sun is really streaming in. 
I complain about like you know that it's permanently overcast and there's no rain and it's foggy and this and that but it, it is a it is good when it's like that because I can film at any time of the day whereas when it's sun shining here the sun streams right in here and actually I probably should lower my blind because it makes things fade as well okay so they are attached And then I was thinking, now I will have my trim about there. Anyway, I was thinking it'd be nice to have It's actually quite nice um, fabric to embroider on too, these um, upholstery fabrics because they're actually not as thick as you would think. Just in the green. In theory, in the green, I'm gonna do running stitch. It's not in the green there, but that's, got, that's all gonna be covered up. So I'm just gonna whiz along here because that's gonna be covered. I'm not worried about that. to start coming back down here I'll leave a bit of a gap so it's kind of like it's you know I don't know a bit like a ticking but it's not a ticking it's a running stitch stripe I could hate it you never know Oh, here comes the noisy one. I think so. No, maybe not. I think I want to put another row in there. That's going to be covered, so I won't worry about that bit. Just this bit here. Okay, I'll just end that off because I need to move to another section. Let's see what that's going to look like. That's going to attach on there. It's all going to wrap around. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm going to do the, the stitching across all on this dark green. I'm just going to continue with rows here, here, here. I may not go in there. I'll just do here, 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 like that. Um, and I will can do all of these berries like that. And I'll start thinking about this and then tomorrow we will have a look further look at the embroidery. I like the the um, what's it called music paper music page on the back and then we'll see what to do there as well. So this is a bit of fun. Okay, so that was just an extra little addition to today's video. Um, I'll put a photograph at the end and um, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.